this is a picture of my grandsons. And what I want to do is I want to put them in Bush Stadium, St. Louis Cardinals. And I don't want this fence here because I want it to make it look sort of like the boys are standing on the baseball field. But at the same time, I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to maybe make a light, uh, you know, those little base lights out of a picture like this. And I'm going to show you how to use nodes to cut this out. So first thing I want to do is I want to come here and click this pencil and come down and click red because red shows up the best. But the boys are the shirts a little bit dark. So I'm going to take and right mouse click on this picture. I'm going to use the arrow right mouse click on the picture and I'm going to hit adjust image. I want to make their picture real light. The best way to do that is just grab gamma and pull it over. And gamma will um, lighten it up quite a bit and I can move contrast over to the right a little bit. And now I can see the boys pretty good. So I'm going to hit OK. And what I'm going to do is zoom in. Now I'm going to click this note editor, or I'm sorry, the pencil. And I'm just going to trace these guys out real quick. Um, and I'm zooming in with my mouse wheel. And the first thing I want to do is I want to start right here. And I'm just going to click and wherever I see a curve, I stop before the curve. And notice how I'm stopping every time before a curve. I'm just going to come right up there, click. And then I jump across the curve just like that. Same thing here. I'm going to come here, then jump across the curve, and then connect right there again. And right here, I'm on his finger. I'm going to stop before the curve, come straight across because you'll see in a few minutes that I'll be able to bend these around his fingers and save a lot of time. So I'm just going to, like I said, kind of hurry through this. And I know you've seen these cutouts before where they look pretty bad. You know, you can see an outline going around the person's body or whatever the case is. And that's because they don't really take the time. And I'm not taking a lot of time here. As you can see, I'm just going to, again, going around the curves. I'm just going to kind of hurry through this because I just want to give you several lessons in this one video. And again, I'm not an expert. Uh, but I've been doing this a little while, and there are people that know all kinds of things that I don't. But I like to be one of those people when I make videos, I don't edit them, and I don't add music to them or anything like that. So again, each time I click my mouse, I'm making a node. And if I forget to make a node, that's no big deal, because I'm going to show you here in a minute uh, how you can fix that. And when there's sharp corners like this, I'm just going to click here and here. And the more you zoom in, the more accurate you can be. And notice he's got a kind of a full cheek. So I'm going to come around like that. Now I'm going to hit Control Z. I want to back up. Now I broke my line. So I'm going to try to click right on my line and continue this. And in a minute, I'll show you whether or not I have a broken outline or not. And so, again... Every time I click, I'm making a node, and those nodes can be bent uh, so you can manipulate a picture. So you can see you can really move along pretty quick the better you get at this. And again, the more you zoom in, the better you are as far as accuracy. Now I'm at the end and I'm going to come up here and click. Now I right mouse click. Now I want to see if what I have done is a broken figure. So if I click on here right now, And I can see, notice how the dotted lines don't go all the way around. So I want to I hold the control key down, click both of them. And then I want to hit the note editor. And it shows me right here is where it's broken. So I'm going to come here and just grab this and see how it doesn't connect. And I'm going to double click it. So I'm going to grab that again. And now you can see it's good. And everything looks good now. So, yep, we're good to go. So we can pull this back down on top. Of the picture and it's fairly easy to get it back lined up now what I want to do is go in and actually edit this uh, 
And if you hold your control key down, you can be more accurate when you're moving that around. So if I just kind of move it, it's not as accurate as than if I hold my control key down. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna edit these lines real quickly. So I'm gonna go to the node editor and I'm going to pull this node here, this one here, and just kind of give it a curvature here. And I'm gonna pull this one in. And it was important that I didn't connect these right here because I want this, the baseball field here in a minute, to actually show up behind the boys in this area. So I'm not completely lined up perfect now because you can see how I have to move and manipulate this a little bit. But that's no big deal because I just, I think it's important that you know how to move these nodes around. But more importantly, to pull just like this. And just pull that right there. Now, if I wouldn't have moved this picture, as a matter of fact, let's control Z and go back out. I'm control Z is what I'm doing. I'm hitting control Z over and over. And there's my, uh, the boys right there. And you can see we're still good. So I'm going to put that back over the picture again. And this time I'm going to be a little more accurate where I put it. That way I can save myself a little time here. Now, normally what you want to do is you just go straight up instead of pulling it off like I did. And then that way you just go straight back down. Uh, so you can see that the boys are kind of off. That's pretty close. All right, so let's go back to this node editor. And let's start with his finger here. So we click... And we just pull this curve down like that. Same thing here. And notice how to kind of zoom in and it makes it more accurate. And it's better to have a little of the skin with the node on it than not. Because if you don't, then you're going to see that wild, crazy outline that you see sometimes in photos that have been manipulated. So his arm goes in just a little right there. And sometimes, you know, you barely move it, but it makes a huge difference in how the line looks because you don't want a straight contorted line or a straight line. You want a little bit So I'm going to just kind of move along. In this case, I'm going to grab this node right here and pull it down a little and then pull the line back up. Something you need to know, if I wanted to delete this line from this node to this node, I just put my cursor over the line and hit D. And notice how it separated it. Control Z. And so if you ever need to break a line, that's how you do it. You don't hit the delete key. You hit the letter D. All right. And I'm going to go around this house hat and uh, kind of move this along a little bit quicker here for you guys. All right. So you're kind of getting the idea. So the goal again is to remove the fence from behind my grandsons here. And to make it look like they're standing on the field at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. And it's going to get a lot quicker here in just a second. I apologize for how long this takes. Uh, if I was just doing this on my own without filming, I could probably knock it out in maybe half the time that it's taken right now. Now I want to pull this node down like that. And then... Just kind of manipulate it. And I don't like to use those little handles too much because I found that if you just grab the line, you can do just about as good. All right. So now just round it around his shoulder there again. Come down and take a look at this. We're going to bring this out just a little bit. 
And that this is what I'm talking about right here. You don't want to have that kind of gap. You'd rather over go over the shirt a little bit. So I'm going to grab that node and pull it in. We'll just leave it like that for now. Pull this node down and make his arm a little bit more rounded. Pull this down. And we're not really tracing his shirt since it's so low. Um, and again, we need to move a node here. And here I want to insert a node. See, because I don't think I can get this bend right. Well, I did. But let's say I couldn't. You just hit I and it inserts a node for you. I'm going to hit Control Z since... And then you can manipulate by inserting a node to make it easier in case you um, made a mistake whenever you were tracing it. And again, you don't have to be perfect as long as you're overlapping the actual photograph rather than the background, uh, because it'll look it'll look pretty decent and nobody will be able to tell. And here is a place where I need a node. So I'm going to put a node right here. So I'm going to hit the letter I. Now I'm going to bend this up like that. And I need a node right here. So I'm going to hit I. And we'll bend this one down like that. And again, I'm just going to go ahead. And we're going to set call that good. I'm going to click my cursor. And now what I want to do, this is very important. If this says feel, this will not work. So what you want to do is click the picture in the background and then you want to hold your control key down and click the line, then right mouse click. And what you're looking for is a mask and notice how it doesn't show a mask on here. But if I change this back to a line, now I click the picture, hold my control key down and click this line. I right mouse click and you see how it says apply mask. Now, before I do that, I want to duplicate that outline control D and I want to move that down because that's what I'm going to use in my other mask. So now I click the, the line going around the boys. I click the background, right mouse click, apply mask. Now I right mouse click again and I want to flatten the mask. And that took the line out from around the boys. Now what I want to do is I want to put them in Bush Stadium. So I go here and I get a picture of Bush Stadium. Now the key to this is whether you're doing a picture, any kind of picture that you get off the internet, you want to go to tools and you want to go large because the larger the picture, the better it'll be as far as burning something on wood or on acrylic. Hit copy image. And now you go back to light burn, right mouse click and paste the image. Now, sometimes it's best to go ahead and make things a little bit smaller because it uses up less memory on your computer. All right, so in this case, I want this picture to be bigger for now. And again, I can adjust how this picture looks. I'm going to go ahead and go to adjust. And if I was going to print this on wood, this picture here, the first thing I always do is I just come here and click this one and I move it over a little and I always move this one over a little, just like that. And what it does, it brings out the highlights. And then based on whether it's too dark or not, I'll use that contrast or lessen the gamma like this. And now you can see if I hit OK, this picture now has, um, it's not the best, I guess. Most time it works pretty good, but it shows like you can really see the turf pretty good. And uh, the other thing you want to do when you hit adjust image and you're going to print it on wood, you want to change this to dither. So dither or Stucky or Jarvis. I have better uh, luck with dither. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to put the boys on the field. This is much quicker now. So I want to make a rectangle the size of this picture, just like this. And now what I want to do is I want to bring that rectangle, rectangle down. And I want to take the boys right here, their outline, and bring it to this rectangle. Like that. Now, sometimes this gets confusing. So you click the rectangle. You click the boys, and now you want to weld them into that. But so I'm, I'm going to click here and notice how the boys are outlined. If control Z, 
if for some reason it doesn't work for you, control Z again, and you click something else like that, it just, it does matter sometimes what the order of operations are, whether you click the rectangle first or the boys first. Uh, but what you want is something like this. And now I'm going to bring, whoops, control Z. I'm going to bring this back up to the photograph like that. I'm going to, I'm clicked on the line. Now I want to hold my control key down and click the picture, right mouse click, and I want to apply mask. And now what I can do is simply take the boys and bring them right here. And if for some reason, whenever you go to move things around, if a red line goes behind the picture, just hit control X, then control V, and it will bring it back in uh, to where it needs to be. Now, you notice it's got a red line going around it right now. So what I want to do is click the boys here, and I'm going to try to line them up a little bit better. Well, control Z again. And I'm going to zoom in and make sure they're lined up. I'm going to use his ear and his hat. That looks pretty good. All right. So now I want to get rid of that red line. Well, all that is is when you uh, click that red line like that and hold your control key down and click the baseball field, flatten image, and the red line goes away. So now the boys are in St. Louis. Now I want to make the boys a little bit darker because when I originally did this, I made them lighter so I could trace around them. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to come down and click on their clothing. Right mouse click, adjust image. And I'm going to click this, move it over. I want to click this and move it over a little. And you notice how bright their eyes are getting now. Look over here at this picture and look at this picture. You can really see their eyes. And if you see a lot of white on a cheek like that, then you might want to move your gamma over just a little or or your contrast. Uh, you can bring your contrast down a little bit and hit OK. And now the boys look really pretty good on there. And if I wanted to, I could actually put those boys on an acrylic light. And I'll probably do another video for that. Now what I want to do is I want to actually highlight everything. Bring this down. Bring it over to my work area. And I'm holding my mouse wheel down as I move my mouse. And I'm zooming in spinning my mouse wheel. And again, notice there's no red line around there. Now, this was just a simple thing to show you that actually teaches many things, especially dealing with those nodes. And that's pretty cool stuff. And one last thing I'll show you. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete and delete all this. I want to show you this because this is really cool. If you're just looking for a cool design, just come over here and draw a line like that. And then come here to... Um, well, let's just draw another line. This, this, and then back to this. Then we got a triangle. Now we go to that note editor like I showed you earlier. And what we want to do is we want to pull this out. I want to delete this note here. Pull this out. Pull this out. Kind of make like a leaf. Something like that. Now watch what happens. I'm going to rotate this around. I'm going to use, I love using this because it gives you a, gives you an opportunity to outline something and hit OK. Now, if you drag this way, notice how it doesn't highlight it. But if you drag from up and barely touch the lines, whatever it touches, it's going to highlight it. And now what I want to do is group that. I want to pull it over here and then click this, then click the line and come down here to this circle array. And notice how I've got a design going on here. I'm going to change that to fill. Now, I can add to it, take away from it, hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and change that to fill, and then go take a look and see what it says here. And then what you can do is highlight all that, Control G is group, and then Control D and rotate it around a little bit so you made a duplicate. And now you can come here and take a look at what it looks like now. And then one last thing, I'm going to control Z all this out. Now notice the center. The center is about the size of line. Control Z. Now this time, I'm going to click off this and I'm going to use a circle. And I'm going to pull it over here. And I'm going to click on that line. 
And of course it matters when you move this line around, it changes your design. And notice if I click my line first, then I click my circle, watch what happens here. So what you want to do, order of operations again, it does matter. So I want to click like that and then pull this over and you can see what happens here. The further I move away this line from my circle, watch what happens. And then I click this and now that's what happens when you apply that. Then of course you can come over here and turn things on and off and practice like that but control z and this time i'm going to bring it kind of into the circle click the circle click the line and then do your array hit okay go see what your design looks like make sure that's make sure you go to fill to see what it looks like if you were just wanting a line you could do it that way uh, continue and you can just constantly just control D for duplicate and then just spin that around and go take another look at what you got so it's a pretty cool thing to do and uh, I hope that helps you out. I know it's kind of boring for some of you, but for some of you, you can go back and watch and uh, review some of the things I showed you. And uh, you can make things like this into lights. Um, I probably should show you how to do that real quick. Let's say I wanted to make this into a light, this exact thing. So I want to right mouse click. I want to group it. Most of your light bases are about 80.6. And so I come here and I do millimeters. So I'm going to change this to 80. And this actually slips into the base really well, 80.6. And then the height is 14.5, just like that. Now, if I wanted to make a light out of this design, simply take my base and bring it down here. I want to make my light bigger. I usually make my lights in the 230s or something like that, uh, but 170 will work fine. So I'm going to click on this, ungroup it because I need to get these two lines out of the middle here. Delete. Now I want to highlight this. I want to group it. And I want to change it to black. And that's a fill. And then I want to leave that one red because it's going to cut out. But I need a cut out to go around that. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to extrude around it, just like that, outward. And I want it to be closer to the, just like that. Hit OK. Now what I want to do is zoom in, click on that, make it red. And then I want to arrow it over to make sure there's nothing inside of that. If there is, and there is, there's a circle. I want to ungroup it. Ungroup. Control U. Or use your mouse like I did. And then just arrow this right back over. I could have made a light out of the boys themselves too. So now what I want to do is group all that. Control G. Click this. And come up here. And I could hit. Let's see. Click. What happened there? And notice how it put it in the center that way. But then you got to arrow it down and all this other stuff. So the best thing to do is come here to vertical align. Now what I want to do is take this piece, and I'm almost done here. And I know it's been a long video. I don't normally do this. Now I want to go back to my node editor. So I have to click here and ungroup it because I, otherwise I can't get to this red line. Now I want to go to my node editor, and I want to click on this. Just like that. And there's a lot of nodes there. So I'm going to highlight those nodes, and I'm going to hit D for delete. Now I'm going to pull that line into here, and I'm going to go up here and click on my base, and I'm going to merge those. Now I can go back to my node editor, and I can delete some nodes here because I want it to at least right here, and I'm going to keep that dot, and I want to keep that dot or node, 
And so I'm going to delete, uh, let's say, these nodes here. So hit D. Same thing here. D. And then you can manipulate this however you want. But now that light will fit into a base. Uh, I got to change this to a line. And you can see now that's a light that you can put in one of those little Chinese bases. And uh, it will light up. And it will fit right down in there perfectly. Now, normally I get each side perfect. That way there's no distortion. Hope that helps you out, man. I know it was a long video. I'm sorry about that. Just remember the main things. Control D for duplicate. Control X for cut. Control V for paste. Control G for group. And uh, that's it for now. Hope that helped you out.